play there for a game possession. Tries one. Oh, it's in. What a goal. That's the under. It's still early in the game. It went straight down the middle. So the goal has pleased a huge number of fans in the stadium. Just listen to them. Well, they got the opener, Trevor. Yes, they look confident today. But just sitting back is not their nature. They will keep pushing forward and try and win the game early. This is how the goalkeeper lost his clean. Perea. Surely he can't miss. It's a save. He's right on the end of the rebound. Astonishing goal. They've stretched their lead. His sharp instincts paid off for that goal. You could just sense the relief from the attack of his teammates when that went in. A two-goal cushion does take the pressure off from the lead. What do you make of that, Trevor? Could the keeper have perhaps done better with the initial save? Well, there's always the risk if you don't hold on to it or tip it behind. <laughs> to the near post. Way out. Superbly done. They just can't stop scoring. Just before the break. Off the crossbar and then. It looks like a one sided game, but I think the difference was one team took their chances and the other didn't. Right, Trevor, it's 3 0 and they are looking good. one from distance yes they now have a comfortable lead just after the break a hat trick he's going to remember today for a long long time he's been head and shoulders above anyone else on the pitch the shot took a wicked deflection after hitting the post the keeper was totally hopeless of the game the defenders just couldn't get close enough to him could they well the movement and the anticipation was so good and that's always difficult to defend against
Beto. Casas. Bordas. The marking has been so tight, there's not a lot of space. There's the final whistle. They've added three points to their total with this win. And Trevor, how would you summarise that match? Players know that you have to create the chances if you're going to score. And that's exactly what this team showed us today. A sense that they were tiring though towards the end. And with that, it's time for me to thank my co-commentator, Trevor Brooking. You're welcome, Peter. And it's good night from us both. <laughs>